What is up, people? This is John of Zenimi here, and I am here at the website AnyChart, which again I highly recommend for each and every one of you. If you want to know about an anime that's coming out in the current season that we're in, like for example, if we're in the summer um, list, and you want to guys want to see like what anime that's coming out, like all the anime from OVAs to uh, movies to even to like TV series and so forth, and even like specials. Uh, this website, the Any Chart, or another website called Life Chart, I recommend to check those websites out because really they are a pretty good websites to check up on what anime that you could want to watch as well as for the upcoming season. As you can see here, um, they do like by year, by season status, which means basically what's currently airing, finished, not yet, and cancelled, you know, basically. And the types again, all the things that you'll see here. And it's done the sorting process and so forth, which I'm here by popularity and uh, yeah. Um, let's get into the list and let's do this, people. All right. So the first item we're going to talk about is Dias Aire. Now, Dias Aire is by what I search of. This is a by. Um, um, this anime was made by a Kickstarter. Now, what I'm, what those Adam? Well, not Kickstarter, but by crowdfunding. Um, what happened was is that a long time ago uh, this visual novel, which is adult visual novel, um, what happened and what this anime is about is that we have these two characters sets in within World War II where, right around you know the time of Berlin and it's kind of a, like an action um, kind of storyline and by the looks of it, by the visuals, I could say that this really does visually look good and it's made by ACGT and the story behind this, um, how the anime was made, was that I went to a crowdfunding website in Japan and it was going to be raised only to 30,000 yen until it went over. Like for example, it went from 30,000 and people crowded in to over 90,000, which went over the limit. And again, by the looks of it, by the visuals and the teasers, uh, which this website is so cool because you actually go like, if they have a preview or Twitter and so forth, that way you could see, you know, the anime and so forth. And I gotta say, when I watched the preview, really does look good. Um, really have high expectations for this. Hope it does well. Um, but at the same time, uh, it could go bad. I mean, I haven't read, I haven't played visual novels, so I don't know what to expect. But by what people have been telling me and by what it looks like with the visuals and so forth, and kind of like the whole World War II kind of aspects, eh, I kind of have interest in watching it. So um, when it comes out, uh, we'll shall see. So the next one we're going to talk about is second season of Kenkai Sensei. No, Kenkai Sensei and Beyond. So this anime, I could say that is a really good anime. I mean, it really had a lot of action. What happens is this anime takes place in New York, and we have these characters as you see, and they fight against these supernatural monsters and, you know, the, the gates and force fields and so forth. I mean, it's really an interesting anime, and I love it because, you know, Bones does very well when it comes to the animation and how they do with the anime. But the downside when it comes to the first season ending was horrible. I could felt I felt that they didn't put a lot of efforts in the ending. Like it felt rushed or they felt like it's kind of an open ending kind of thing. And I'm glad that they're doing another season of that because again, if they didn't do a second season and they did that kind of an ending, I would be as myself. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. I mean, I really um, think, but it was kind of overhyped when first season happened in my opinion. It was kind of like over the top hype and eh. It did lift it, lift it up until later on with the ending. Yeah, didn't do well for me when it when it came to the end. So yeah, but check out second season. Uh, but watch first season if you haven't. Um, oh my god, this anime is kind of funny. I love it. Um, this is from, next one we're gonna talk about is uh, UQ Holders Moho Sensei Najima uh, Two. Now, I think this is a kind of a, a story involved within the same timeline as uh, Najima, but this is kind of like a sequel, like in a way that it sets place like about, I think, if I remember correctly, like about 70 years or something. It was like over, I don't know, what, what year was it? 2026 or something like that? I don't remember. But this is kind of like, like way further within the future um, after... Um, 
uh, Nijima. And this is something, again, and, it, and there's like different um, stories into it. Like, there's different stories within the same universe. Um, prequel, sequel, and so forth. And <laughs> I do hope that I will do like a video that kind of explains all the timeline, but I really do hope that Misty does kind of a chronexiology of Nijima because it really is a complicated thing, to, to be honest, when it comes to Nijima series. <laughs> But again, I do love the Nijima series, and I did read um, the UQ Holder, um, which I really recommend I check out the manga. manga. It's a really good manga, and again, it does have like, kind of that uh, feelings of Nijima, and yeah, I love it. I love the Nijima series, so if you haven't heard of like Maho Sensei Nijima, or even Nijima, or whatever, within the Nijima series, I recommend to check those out, because it really is a good series. Um, but yeah. So the next anime we're going to talk about is Yukiyuna is a Hero. Um, but this one is the sequel of this. And honestly, this is kind of like a Maho Sojo Madoka Magica. Um, kind of a copycat because it kind of involves, within this anime, it involves with a middle schooler who wants to be a hero. And she ends up turning into like a Maho Sojo. And she kind of fights with these other Maho Sojos to kind of find the truth. And fight against other characters and at the same time, you know, find out about their powers. And it's, again, it kind of have the same format and same similarities as uh, Madoka, Magic, Mag Madoka Magica. But I like it, you know, I did like it. Even though they did try to do like kind of a copycat kind of thing with um, Madoka Magica. But I did like it. There's some flaws here and then, you know, with an anime. But overall, I did enjoy it. Um, so if you haven't watched uh, Yukiyuna is a Hero and you're kind of like a fan of within the Mok Madoka Magica uh, series, I recommend to check this out. But again, it will have the flaws and it could be like a half and half kind of thing. A lot of people say it's good, a lot of people say it's bad, but me, I, I did enjoy it even though by the flaws, I did enjoy it. So uh, check out the first season before you check out the second season. Yeah. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is Yuna Shihiki. Uh, you. Uh, I in you Yashiki. Um, I don't know what this one is. Well, it says in the synopsis, um, you know, a fifty-eight-year-old person. Uh, is this gonna be like a parody or something? Oh no, never mind. Never mind. I just read like the like the part of it. Like it says that um that his doctor revealed that he has cancer and he appears that he has little time left in the world um oh damn that went that went dark in something huh. okay um i don't <laughs> i don't know um it does sound interesting um I don't know, but I think it feels like it's gonna be like one of those feels anime, like, you know, it will have a lot of emotion uh, by the reading of the synopsis. It could be. I don't know. Um, doesn't give me the description of it, um, so forth, so. Um, I don't know. So, uh, but I, I'll take a look at it. Again, when it comes to anime that I don't really know, and I kind of just read the synopsis. Um, I will take interest of it. Maybe like I'll keep watching it till like halfway through and I'll see if I drop it or not. But I don't I'm not like one of those people that just watches the first episode and be like, oh I hate it, drop. I mean it barely started. You need to watch a little bit more and understand the story more before you just drop it. But hey, that's just my opinion. A lot of people will have their opinions on so forth. And yeah. Alright, so the next thing we talk about is Haredo Tesumi Peter Wa Rayu to Oduru. Um I read the synopsis. Um, story revolves around Shushiki, the equations. Uh, okay, so uh, this sounds like a bounty hunter kind of anime, um, where they gotta do like some tasks, and they all fight against like probably d d different monsters because it does have the thing called dances with dances with dragons or something like that, and um, I, I'm guessing that. They it revolves with two characters as it takes like two bounty hunters and they'll do some tasks and they have to do stuff like that, probably kill things and so forth. Um it does sound interesting and I'll probably watch it. I like kinda like those kind of anime and hope it really lives it up to what it says in the synopsis. So let's hope that 
It's a really good watch, so I'll recommend to check that out. Um, for those if you like some Bounty Hunter anime, which I kind of did an anime list with Gobs when it comes to Bounty Hunter. So if you want to check that out, check the anime list. I'll provide it right here or right here, whatever. Where's the bubble at? So, uh, well, we'll get to, let's get further to the video. Um, we have uh, Love Live Sunshine Season 2. Oh, man, I, lo I love Sunshine. Even though... <laughs> Even though that this kind of is like a, a musical idol kind of anime, and it's kind of really slice of life, it's moe, and it's something that involves people just fucking loving it. And uh, Anime Expo will have um, a, a, a course, I believe that's how you pronounce the group name, a course to perform at Anime Expo uh, this year, and that's pretty dope. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to Anime Expo because I'm going out of the country. I'm going with I'm going to, in, to Mexico next month, so I don't know if I will have enough money to go to AX and so forth, or even have time because honestly, I requested over two weeks of vacation for my job, so I don't know if I even have time to do a request on on uh, uh, to AX to see a course perform. But I will definitely go to uh, San Diego Comic Con, just be outside within the venues like Nintendo. And uh, Polaris or something like that. Um, I don't know what's gonna be there, but I know always Nintendo. But I don't know if Polaris will be there or Nerd HQ, whatever. Um, like kind of YouTubers kind of thing. So, well, shall see. But Love Life Sunshine Season Two. Um, uh, <laughs> Love Life keeps on coming. <laughs> uh, but if you haven't watched uh, Love Live and you like kind of like that slice of life school anime with idols and so forth and some singing. Like, I do love the performances. So, yeah, if you like the music as well, I recommend check out Love Live. Um, but make sure you watch Love Live and then the, the other seasons and then, well, watch Prisons of Sunshine and then watch this one. So, yeah. <laughs> so, next one we're going to talk about is Inazuma 11 Aries no Tenbin. Um, it's a soccer anime. Oh, another soccer anime. And it's funny because it's in the fall, so that's pretty cool. I love that soccer anime. Um, what was the... Days, there you go, Days. I, I always try to remember, like, the one, like, the recent soccer anime that came out. Days. Love that shit. I mean, Jesus Christ. That anime, you know, that soccer anime was dope. I love it, so... Check out Days. Um, I might do an anime list in the future while I'll talk about soccer anime. Because not much people actually talk about soccer anime and so forth. So I might do an anime list. Talk about anime that involves with soccer. So I might be doing that in the future. Uh, but yeah. Um, if, when it comes to soccer anime. and uh, uh, I'll, I'll, te I'll check it out. I'll definitely check it out. And I believe I remember um, Inazuma 11. I believe I, I remember watching it. it. The characters looked really similar. I'm like oh. More, thank you. So, yeah. Infinity Force. Um, oh, I remember this one. I mean, I remember, I remember these guys. I mean, this old school anime. Jesus Christ, I remember these guys. Love them. And oh, it celebrates the fifty-fifth anniversary. That's pretty dope. Pretty awesome. I'll definitely check that out. Um, I think it's a movie or an anime special because it says. 3D CG anime project, which I, I don't know. I think that looks like a movie, um, probably. <laughs> uh, maybe a, a TV. I'll ch I'll I'll leave somewhere around here if I find out later what it is. Uh, it, it looks like a movie though, so definitely looks like a movie. Um, Tisu uh, Tisuki Pro the animation. Uh, Oh, this is kind of like a drama kind of anime, so uh, I'll take like like drama school, so uh, like performances so for them. Uh, I'll talk, I'll have to check it out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I heard about that fucking Himoto Umaru-chan, or or just saying uh, Umaru-chan, I I was like, oh more? Oh, they're doing another season? Holy shit! Thank you. I love Umaru-chan. People don't like Umaru-chan, but if even people don't like the main character Umaru-chan, they're like, she's a bitch. I, I read the comments and so forth, and even people tell me about the main character, and I'm like, oh my god. And I watched the anime like prior before those comments appeared, but I, I didn't, I was like, oh shit, you know, people are really hating on her. 
I love her. I mean, I actually did, um, which I'll provide a picture. I I'll think I'll, if I have that picture still. I built a fucking Umaru-chan statue in Minecraft. That was pretty dope. Uh, it wasn't the right colors and so forth, but hey, I tried. <laughs> but it was good. It was pretty good. All right, so the next anime we talk about is Emoto Sare Ereba uh, Lee. Um, what the fuck? The story follows the everyday life of Itsuki, a novelist and modern day polygam polygma lion or something like that, who works day and day out to create the ultimate younger sister. He's surrounded by various other characters. A beautiful genius writer who loves him, his big sisterly classmate from college, a fellow rail writer, a sadistic tax account. Oh, well, tax, tax account. Oh, they always sadistic. Anyways, and his editor. They all looked after by Itsuki's perfect younger stepbrother, Chikuru, who has a serious secret. Um, I hope that's not going to be another... Um, um, what's the anime that came out? Oh yeah, uh, Ero Manga Sensei. Because um, I think if you, if I could go to um, to another website, I believe I heard of this before, and I apparently it involves with this um, the brother to be a siscon, and I'm like, what the fuck? Have huh, what? A s <laughs> what? And. Um, and, and, and people have been telling me about this at bef prior to this video that it's going to have a lot of things as like romance and comedy, which I could see the tag right there. So I'm like, <sighs> yeah, um, will I be watching it? Um, that's kind of iffy for me because, um, again, it kind of sounds like um, one of those traditional anime, kind of like, you know, how Edo Manga Sensei is going to be um, and so forth. So, again, that's just my opinions and all that kind of stuff. But just by re reading this and what I read on uh, another kind of like the, my anime list on how they describe the fucking um, light novel. And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, so the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Sengoku Night Blood. Um, the game centers around different warlords from Japan's warring states uh, within the Sengoku period, who are all involved with a player character. The game is described as a warring states romance comedy. Oh, so this is from a video game. Oh, okay. Um, I'll watch it. Why not? Um, again, there's some enemy that probably will be hit and miss, and some enemy will people will not watch because of, you know things and so forth but it does not look looked interesting and so forth so I'll, I'll definitely check it out um anime uh gataris uh, this is the next one to talk about within this video uh the anime centers around minoa asagawa a new high school student in sankaneko private high school despite being a novice to anime hey uh, <laughs> no, i'm joking i'm not a novice uh minoa's classmate at Ritsu uh, Kamigusa invites her to make an anime research club. Oh, anime research club. Anime research club. Uh, no, I'm so, no, no. Anyways, <laughs> so conversations with her classmate, uh, Miko, as well as various anime loving upperclassmen. Oh, anime lovers. Um, <laughs> Gradually gets hooked on anime. Oh shit, that's awesome. While they stand against the student council's continuous efforts to disband their club and they ignore the impending end of the world, they talk about anime. Um, whether in Akiba or in real life sacred places, anime settings, or in the hot springs. Oh, what is this? It's gotta be a comedy or something? It, it sounds like a comedy thing. And, um,. <laughs> Um, that's 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 pretty cool. Um, I never heard of that actually. That they make like some kind of an anime club and to kind of like you know bring in people that loves anime and so forth. And the student council just disapproves of it and so forth. Maybe because of some kind of thing that they don't like. You know, you know, keeping the tradition kind of thing. As I'm reading this, um, again, it does sounds like a comedy thing. And um, yeah, I mean that's. It's pretty. It, it sounds pretty funny to be honest. I mean, anime research club and so forth. Pretty cool. Um, I bet they'll be with, like one of those animes that will contain like kind of like um, 
you know, they put themselves in a scenario when it comes to them researching about anime, they get hooked on anime and so forth. It'd be pretty funny if they make, like, a lot of anime cameos or from various anime um, and so forth in this, like, in the, either from the TV projection or even, like, figurines and so forth. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, pretty funny as well, but, yeah, I'll definitely watch this. Why not? Um, sounds interesting, so I'll definitely watch it. Um... All right, so the next one to talk about is Code Realize. So say no, Himegimi. Um, I believe is a this is a visual novel. Um, this is anime being adapted by a visual novel, and um, I heard that this one is really a. Uh, pretty um, when it comes to his visuals as well as is a good story it involves when it comes to London um, as you can see within the synopsis and apparently it does carry like some kind of a good romance um, into the visual novel and um, yeah I mean I will look forward to it I mean why not um, again when it comes to romance I mean I'll, I'll give it a benefit of the doubt so I'll definitely check that out um, yeah, it does. It's, it's it's adventure, fantasy, romance, and I heard about the visual novel that people have been telling me about this. And um, again, when I looked at the the gameplays and so forth, it's it's very pretty. I love the the character design and so forth, and all that kind of stuff. The sounds, I mean, it's really cool. So um, I think it will be a good anime. Um, def definitely check that out if you're into a, kind of like the romance um, aspect. So yeah, I'll check that out. So the next anime we're talking about is, and, and I know this anime because I watched the OVAs, um, it's called The Ancient uh, Magos' Bride. And honestly, it's a really great anime. And I really recommend to check out the OVAs. I mean, it's so beautiful, the animations and all that kind of stuff. I really do like it, especially that it does carry like a good story. Um, we have this main character, his name is Chise, who lived... A life full of like neglect and abuse and it kind of in the synopsis covers it well and um he ends up meeting um a man who has a head of like some kind of a, a beast like a skeleton and he has these kind of powers like magic but what's cool about this anime is that you know not only you know again like i said the story and animation is the kind of the bond between um Ch uh, chise and um and the guy, um, which, uh, and the guy, and honestly, you know, he kind of saved her from, you know, in uh, captivity, um, as I read the from the synopsis, and, um, you know, and he made it like, um, a promise, you know, hey, you know, you'll be my apprentice, and you'll also be my bride, and, um, it's a really good anime, and I highly recommend, if you haven't watched it, please go watch it telling you now watch the OVAs before and trust me it is worth the watch check them out all right so the next anime talk about is Hokuzuki no Reya Titsu season 2 it, go watch it I mean oh my god this anime made me laugh when I first watched it, it it's it's really uh, it's funny I, I, I will admit it, it did make me smile and um, yeah I, I can't wait for season 2 so if you haven't watched season 1 definitely check it out um, it's worth the watch and yeah, um, I'll go fast because, you know, probably the video is like already long as it is. So let's go fast. Um, the next one to talk about is Kujira no Kora wa Saho ni Utayu. Um, really good anime. Um, looks interesting. People have been telling me about it. And um, so, so it's, it's going to be cool. Um, it's I love... Um, that it does have like sci-fi and romance and drama and fantasy and it does have mystery so uh, I'll definitely check that out. I haven't read the manga of it but I did been hearing what people have been telling me about like this anime so I'll definitely check it out. Um, I mean tell me about the manga. I mean the anime hasn't come out so ha <laughs> ha derp. <laughs> so uh, second season of uh, Low Lo Storage, um, Conflated, uh, Winux and really good series. I love the Winux series. Um, we we'll definitely check it out. It's kind of it's an anime that involves with cards, and you face people against people, and you have like this one card that is basically, um, you know, kind of like linked to you, um, and they go in battles and so forth. I love I love the series. I mean, I do love the Winux. And really, when I first watched it, I was like, oh, pretty cool concept. It's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> um, but you know, with cards, mostly cards. Um, so yeah, I really do like it. And it, it is really psychological, um, to be honest. Um, even though that it looks so cutesy, it, it's, it's fucking there, man. Um, 
Second season of three, uh, Katsu no Lion. I love the first season, um, so definitely check it out before the second season. Really good story when it comes to drama and slice of life. Definitely check that out. Um, Tyon Balkan 24. I haven't heard of it, uh, but it does look funny. <laughs> uh, Classic Lloyd 2. Um, I watched Classic Lloyd. And I, it's, it's, it was good. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's awesome, but eh. It was, it was it was okay. Um, I like, but it wasn't like blow my mind. It just basically like was was like meh. It was cool. It was good. It was good. Uh, Pop team epic. Um, <laughs> um, I'll just watch it just for the lols. <laughs> the lols. Um, next one to talk about is a uh, Fate Stay Night movie um, number one. Uh, how heavens feel. The first film in the tr in the trilogy adaptation of the third route of the. Probably a visual novel, Fate Stay Night. I mean, pretty cool. Um, haven't watched it. Um, apparently, it comes out in 157 days. And I like the Fate Stay Night, so I'll definitely check that out when it comes out. Um, a Godzilla. Oh, yeah, they, they are making... I've been hearing about this. That's Godzilla animation movie. Um, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, oh, okay. So, I'm reading synopsis, and apparently that... Um, this is kind of like more futuristic and it involves um, with more of the kaijus. Um, so it'd be pretty cool to see like what other kaijus got to be in this Godzilla animation film. I mean, it sounds pretty cool. Um, apparently it comes out in November, um, what I've been seeing in this picture and so forth, what people have been telling me. So I'll definitely check it out. Um, uh, Hakadai-san Gatoru movie. Um, <laughs> Haven't heard of it, but uh, sounds interesting, so I'll definitely watch it. <laughs> uh, Dance with Devils, uh, Fortuna. Um, love the visuals. I might check it out. Um, Eureka Seven, or I forgot the first part, which is uh, Kukuyo Shihen, uh, Eureka Seven, High Evolution One. Um, I love the Eureka Seven series, so I'll definitely check out that movie. Um, so I'll definitely check it out. Um, and as well as, um, the fucking <laughs> sequel. The sequel to, um, Free. Ah, oh, that's funny. Um, so, people who love, who watches Free, the ladies who love these men w swimming in the pool and so forth with their abs and so forth and their man service, um, <laughs> um, mark your calendars as this movie will come out within the fall of 2017, so definitely check that out. <laughs> Hey, let's not forget the OVAs. Um, uh, Bogo Stray Dog 2 OVA. Um, I'll I'll watch it. I mean, I love fucking Bogo Stray Dogs. Um, OVA for Binan, Koku, uh, Chikayu, uh, Boy Abu. Love, love, love. I um, love this series. It's kind of like um, freaking Sailor Moon, but it's like with guys. <laughs> love it. And then the freaking um, the prologue of Card Capture Sakura Clear Card Hen. Fucking, I can't wait for that. I mean, Jesus. Um, can't wait for that. So, yeah, because I know in the winter, that's when, like January next year, it's gonna fucking come out, the fucking anime. And I can fucking wait for it. Ah! And also mention the specials. Um, uh, Maid Dragon is getting a special. Uh, or, or you may say the title. Uh, Koyabashi San Shi no Maid Dragon special. Awesome. Um, Sin Nanatsu no Tazai specials, which is, um, Seven Mortal, Mortal Sins, uh, which will be, uh, apparently four episodes, seven episodes, um, which is episodes 13 to 19, which will be unaired. Ooh. Ooh. Probably too much for TV. <laughs> Anyways. Um, and even Go Shakers, um, the unaired 13th episode, which is a prequel, um, which is a prequel, um... Handshakers was okay for me, but again, there was a lot of things wrong with this. Animation was... I don't know what they were doing with animations, but again, I gave it the benefit of the doubt, and I was like, what the hell is wrong with this? Why not check out these ONAs, which is original net animations? And also, why not, in the same clip, why not check out these TV shorts? And, uh, yeah. Um, and that is it for me today, people. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I do apologize for the length of the video. I mean, honestly, 
Um, when I talk about particular anime, or even anime that has another season, or even, you know, with a s familiar series, you know, like Nejima, I kind of get, you know, dragged into, you know, to a conversation about the anime and so forth, and kind of ramble about it and so forth. So, I do apologize about that, but again, <laughs> it happens. Um, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video regardless. I give you all the anime that will come out within the fall. Probably there'll be more adding to it, add to it. You know, probably within the later days in the summer, probably. But I just gave you what the anime will be coming out as of now. Um, I'll probably let you guys know like what other anime will be coming out aside from the ones I talk about within this video. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day. And remember, um, check out the two websites. Uh, the one I use in the video called Any Chart, and as well as another website called Live Chart. Um, check those websites down in the description below to check out um, the website and, and to see anime that's gonna come out within a season um either if it's current upcoming or within the future so yeah um re really means a lot to me if you give this video a like favorite share and click right there to subscribe to my channel you're part of the awesome crew this is some awesome videos also i'm working on an anime list and it's a big project so um, probably will be uploaded before i graduate on june and yeah, I'll be going away, um, you know, about after my graduation, I'll be out of country, um, vacation with my family, um, you know, take a, take a break and so forth. And yeah, um, but again, hope you guys have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video and remember to give it a like, share, favorite and subscribe for more awesome videos and to thank you guys so much. And remember, as I always say, John Loves Anime signing out. Remember people, stay awesome and I love you all. See you guys in the next video. Peace.